Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys my face routine slash review for you guys. Um, I recently, not not so recently, um, I bought this a couple of, uh, where is it? Um, I bought this a couple of weeks ago. This is the L'Oreal Visible Lift. Um, the only reason why I found out about this foundation was because Kenny Johnson, which is one of my favorite YouTubers, I love her so much. Um, she um, really loves this foundation and I wanted to try it out because she really likes it and she's a makeup artist so I totally trust her. I also got the Sheer Envy Primer from Hard Candy. Um, at, both of these I got at Walmart. This one you can only purchase at Walmart. I don't know where else they sell Hard Candy but from what I know um, you can only purchase it at Walmart. So um, yeah. So I'm going to put this on for you guys and show you guys uh, what it looks like uh, applied. I'm also going to review and show you guys the Translucid Naturally Luminous Powder. This is in medium, which is my color. So this is, you know, I'm just going to talk about it, okay? So this is my foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's start applying the um, primer. Let's start talking about it. Alright, so this primer is really, really weird, but it's amazing at the same time. Um, you have to shake it before you use it because it's like it's like a weird formula. I don't know what's up with it, but if you don't shake it, it comes out half watery, half solid. So it's like a weird oily mixture. It's really liquidy and it slides off easily. So it's like really liquidy. I kind of dumped out a little bit more than I needed, but whoa. Um, so just, I just like to pile it on my skin. This primer leaves such a beautiful, like, it feels amazing. Even the people that I apply this on, like, they're just like, wow, this feels so awesome on your skin. It feels so soft, because it is. It makes your skin feel so soft. Oh, by the way, um, I've recently gotten a lot of comments uh, saying that not a lot, but a couple of people say that I have flawless skin, and that's like so far from the truth. <laughs> um, I don't have flawless skin. Um, my ISO for my camera is very forgiving, and the lighting is very forgiving as well. So um, I'll show you guys what I really look like without this brightness. So this is what I really look like right now. Do you see? I have all these dark spots, and I have under eye circles. But right now, you can't really tell because. I have a smoky eye on, but yes, I am not flawless, but for the sake of the video, for not having bad lighting, I'm just gonna keep it up like that. So, so just let that sink into your skin, into your pores, let it dry off. <clears throat> I believe that this, founda this foundation, this primer, it costs, I believe, like four to, four to six dollars, I would say. It's very cheap, and it comes with... 1.6 fluid ounces, so it's gonna last you a pretty long time. One thing that I love about Hard Candy is they don't, they're animal, animal cruelty free, so they don't harm or test on animals, so that's awesome for any um, vegans or vegetarians out there who just don't wanna deal with any makeup that harms animals, so this is perfect for you. Um, Alright, so it's sunk into my skin and now my skin feels so soft, like, I wish I could just leave with this, but I kind of need a little bit of coverage, as you guys saw beforehand, the dark spots. So, let's get started. Alright, so, the my the brush that I usually use for this foundation is the Real Techniques Buffing Brush, but it's not with me right now. I left it at my cousin's house, so, um, for the sake of the video and for the fact that not many people have that brush, I'm just going to use my fingers. So... Um, I don't know about anybody else, but, um, a lot of people like to put, well, the people that I've seen use this foundation, uh, like to put two layers. I mean, you do whatever you want, honestly, but I think two layers is a little bit, a lot, because this is a very good coverage foundation. Um, so just put this all over your skin. And this is what I do for my foundation um, right now. I do want to try a new foundation, so I'm not going to say that I'm going to keep this one like, for a long time. It's still not better than my CoverGirl 
three in one foundation, but it definitely is there. It's like at that point, so yeah. Oh, and if you guys want to know how to do this eye makeup, there will be a link down below. So just check that out, please. So after I do that, I like to blend it out really well. Like blend it down to your skin too, because nobody wants a mask. And this is a little tad bit lighter than me, but I don't really care because it's easy to work with. Um, after that, I like to take my translucent loose powder in medium from uh, L'Oreal. And I bought this little puff pad thingy. This doesn't come with it, it comes with a different one. It's much more small, but I like this one. So I just like to shake this up. And I love a matte face, so I like to press this into my skin. It just leaves a like such a beautiful look to your skin when you apply this loose powder like after your foundation um, All the foundations that I have literally they all look ten times better after I apply this loose powder So I definitely recommend this powder as well So uh, that's what I do for my foundation routine. That's my current foundation routine A um, couple things that I want you guys to know is I do have dry skin Sometimes I get oily, but this foundation does not make me oily. Um, I don't have acne prone skin, so this doesn't break me out. I don't get any random pimples either, so this is a very great foundation. Um, and it has a sunscreen broad spectrum of SPF 17, so this is great for um, to protect your face from the sun. Uh, also, it has anti-age reversing makeup. So it's uh, supposed to have some uh, serum or something that'll be anti-aging, which is awesome because um, you know it's never too late to start anti-aging, honestly. So um, yeah, that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And a um, couple of questions: uh, Would you like to see um, my? Uh, okay, so I have I have um, a whole bunch of. Uh, drugstore foundations that I've tried out and I wanted to know if you guys wanted to know I wanted to know if you guys want to know what my favorites and not not so favorites from all the foundations that I've tried uh, I don't know if you guys would like to see a video about that um, it would be like you know like a high rank meaning like which was the lowest like rank meaning the worst foundation that I've tried and the best foundation that I've tried so uh, if you guys want to see that drugstore foundation video let me know alright guys Thank you guys so much for watching. I love all of you. Stay fabulous. Enjoy colors. I love you. Bye.